So good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Let's talk about karma. Let's talk about what we understand about it and what we don't understand about it. And one of the things with karma is that um, people discuss it. We generally will hope that people get their karma, not understanding that karma is collected input of works that you do in your life and sometimes in past lives depending on what you believe in that are accounted for and they come back in um, bringing a account of things that you will acquire be it rewards redemption or um, decrease and taking life away from you and you know the book of Deuteronomy um, 28 the chapter 28 talks about that it says I'm blessed in the city I'm blessed in the field I'm blessed coming and going well the universe looks at these things and we all have you know a deity that we serve be it uh, Jesus um, and the Christ that he uh, represented Buddha and um you know, um, the consciousness that he represented, awakening, and other of the deities. Um, However, the point I'm making is, is that the understanding of karma has not been so greatly um, understood. And so there is good karma that we acquire as we um, continuously change our hearts and our minds, and we begin to turn to the good deeds. Um, That means that we're mentally changing. Um, and we're physically changing when we mentally change our heart is changing when our mind changes because the heart and the mind goes one in one which brings to um, mind in Romans 12 and 2 it says do not be conformed to the world but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God what is good and acceptable and purpose and so do not be conformed to the world which is your mind and error thoughts your mind and error thoughts in the past followed the ways of the outside world the external world you know what you need material things and not so much of what you need in your spirit and so that means that your karma is acquired through your worldly ways and possessions. And so no one can tell you how that account is going to come in. But in the account of your worldly deeds, when you've only done outside works, then you have to begin to understand that that's not the wholeness of man. So in the worldly deeds, you may have treated people wrong. You may have hurt them. You you may have said things um, to, you know, cut them down and make them feel like they were less than nothing. Or you may have cheated in relationships um, that you made an agreement on being committed to. Uh, You may have abused someone or um, misused them. You may have um, misappropriated funds in your workplace or um, in, in, in the world some way or another. You may have even, you know, threw trash out in the street or in the ocean and not realize that um, the fish or uh, some um, entity out there can die from eating whatever you threw out there. And all of this is accounted as a karmic debt um, on the bad side, just say for instance. And then on the good side, it is um, when you know that you're going to be Um, tested or if you just desire and you know that you have a will to treat people good and you are speaking good to them you are thinking good to them you're practicing good you're practicing good in your work ethics you're practicing good in your thinking number one in your speaking number one in your heart is telling you to say um, beautiful things to people rather than ugly even when they come at you ugly and so your good karma begins to increase because now you're being true to the authenticity of you and that means that you continue to plant and sow good through your heart out into the external world and then you have good karma coming so then it says um going back into the scripture but be transformed by the renewal of your mind so the mind again has to do with um your flesh because in the beginning you thought as a 
child or a man of the world. And in the end, you will think spiritually if you follow the practice of changing your thoughts from negative to positive, from the way that you were raised to the way that you see you want to be. You understand? And so here, be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God. So you're going to be tested on things. I can't tell you what you're going to be tested on, but I will tell you that if you put your um, right foot forward, your left foot will go with it or you will stumble. It just depends on how you're walking, you see. And so the walk is according to the way that you think. You can walk sideways or you can walk straight forward. It depends on you. And that's why the road is said to be narrow. So the world is governed by the universe and the universe has a equilibrium. And that means that everything must come into balance. Therefore, a person that continuously does works according to negativity will always account for a manifestation of negative. Those that are working towards good will get a harvest of good, you know, and in that also there's a mixture because sometimes we don't know how to do good all the time, but we're practicing like doctors are really practicing medicine. They're not per se arrived, uh, you know, when you think about it. So as we're practicing good, we become better, but we also look at the fact that our harvest is going to be good and negative possibly. You understand what I'm saying? So it's a process and we can see that when we open up our eyes and we begin to live um, in an authentic way or in a way where we release our desires, the desire body, it requires so much. And life is not really going to give us everything that we want. So as we think on these things that we are looking at in the discussion, what we want to do is put a discipline on our desires because our desires are not always healthy and so our desires for money love love unauthentic love can get us in trouble um, if it's greed uh, anger the desire body will bring these things and they act as a temptation and we know that we need to overcome you know the the feelings to talk nasty to people or cut them down uh, this is not when you're in a conversation and you're discussing matters but when you have even a one-way relationship where there's someone always mm, talking about what they feel and what they think and the other person has no you know autonomy to really speak on what they feel and what they think then you have an imbalance in the relationship and what it can do is cause emotional damage to the person that's not able to speak in the relationship you see, and what happens there is, is both parties are going to suffer because one is not speaking their truth and the other one is not seeing that they need to release control and manipulation. The manipulation and control is going to get you a season where you sold and you're going to have to be manipulated and controlled yourself. And then over here, the person that's not speaking is going to have to begin to stand up for themselves. If they don't, they'll always be in relationships that are, um, you know, where people are manipulating, controlling them or speaking over them, that kind of thing. And so this is the test. What is good and acceptable and perfect? And that's something that we all have to figure out in our lives. So when it comes to karma, it's consequences. It's consequences um, for what I say and what I don't say. It's consequences for me not standing up to my, for myself to others. It's consequences for me being nice to others all the time and not really telling them how I feel about how they treated me. See, I still have karma over here because there's no such thing as a victim. There's always a victor when the victim realizes that they have no fear in anyone or from anyone but God in themselves because to thine own self be true is still a master rule. You see, and so I'm going to end there, uh, but I want to invite you to email me with your thoughts to, at e ifwbuilders at gmail.com. 
um, the description link will have the uh, email in the box also that we um, have a shadow class coming up on the 19th of this week it's 8 19 2020 shadow class teaches you a lot about this information because karma is really uh, patterns that we have not broken so karma continues to come in the positive which is good but if we need to break patterns that are not healthy then karma is constantly giving us an increase of consequences that we got to overcome and work out through testing all right and so ifwbuilders at gmail.com oh also um kamoi night uh, at uh, inner voice for you has a karma class or video coming up or she started i should say um for your inner voice is um the name and i'll put it in the description box as well and it is uh, very necessary for us to get a uh, understanding of what we are doing when we do because the consequences come up on us and we have no idea of what's going on but we've created a scenario where consequences that don't feel so good come in and then the good scenario is when we uh, create Uh, good consequences so discipline that desire body so that it will not have you under temptation creating a karma that you don't want to feel pain from all right have a blessed day and thank you for listening like share and subscribe